Hello everyone, I'm Vicki Couch and I'm from the Museum of Fulton County and we're here today with Mary Gadastic and her granddaughter Megan and they are making a Czech pastry which Mary tell us how to pronounce that properly. It's called Rohliki. Isn't that great? And it's going to be delicious. So let's get started. Uh, Mary has Mary and Megan have started the recipe because uh, it has to be refrigerated overnight so she's going to tell you how she got how she mixed it together and some of the ingredients and then now what they're going to do. Well, it's like, I remember I think it's a four cups of flour and a pound of butter, 12 egg yolks, a cup of sour cream. That sounds like it. That it's pretty like simple. It yeah. And then you just cut your, uh, your butter into your flour just like you would for pie. And then I mix the egg yolks and the sour cream together and gradually add them to my dough. And then I make small balls. Oh, like walnuts, and refrigerate them overnight. And they then, look delicious. They look really buttery. And, uh, well, they're a, cardi a cardiologist nightmare. <laughs> but but you're, it, it has been really healthy for you because you've been making them for yes sixty years maybe. Well, probably. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so, not only that, but the uh, you've got the to use butter. You've got to use butter. That's all I ever use. Sweet butter. Anything. You said sweet butter. Right. Great. And and, and uh, like I said, everything we make is with butter. How long have you been making them, Meg, with your oh, grandma? Oh my gosh, I don't even know. Probably. She, she was out of diapers. Yeah. She was out of diapers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She was as tall as the table, at least. <laughs> probably. <laughs> Do you make them on your own too, without no. your grandma? No. no, we usually it's it's really a two-person process really? if you want to yeah. do it the right way. I mean, it's just a lot goes into it, which you'll see. So it's easier okay. to have two people, I think. Maybe you tell them now. You take it. Now this is your thing. Well, do you want to tell them what this is? Well, oh, that's a meringue that we make out of the egg whites that we have left, and um, I put uh, confectioner sugar, but I you have to taste it because otherwise, and they fold your nuts in there, ground nuts and ground walnuts. Yes. And you said, the, your recipe, I remember, said about a pound of powdered right. sugar to start. And then right. you kind of get a feel for it, just like any yep, other kind of like filling. A, yes, yep. And uh, so that's a good way. You've used 12 egg yolks in the pastry, and now you're using the egg, yolk, the the egg whites yes. in, in your meringue right. filling. And you beat good it check to way to not waste anything. <laughs> exactly, right? Exactly. Exactly. Right. Right. So, uh, okay, so Meg, you're going to start. So you've got yeah. your, you've got these beautiful sweet butter pastry balls out of the fridge overnight mm -hmm. and now you're ready to go. So you want to take them out just a little bit before because they will get really sticky and to combat the stickiness you want to use a combination of flour and confectioner sugar. Mm. I usually do a good half and half. Um, you don't want to get too much flour because grandma will yell at you. Um, <laughs> oh, Lord. And I She'll like give you advice. <laughs> yes. She will not yell. She will give you advice. If you want to get invited back, don't use too much. <laughs> okay. Um, That's... I always coat my rolling pin, oh, coat good. my hands, coat everything because this dough is really fragile. So you want to make sure, I always take a little bit on my hands, kind of coat the outside of it, get it started in a good ball, um, circle pattern, and then... And you have to roll it thin. It has to be thin. Yeah. Listen to grandma, right? She knows. You always listen to Grandma. But no, about, you, about anything. I'll tell you, when you bake with Czech ladies, I'll tell you what, you you, you got to be just exactly right. You can't cut corners or anything. I mean, <laughs> it's this way and that's it. Follow instructions. Follow instructions. Look, look, look how big that is. Wow. Yeah. 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 So I then you get it. Anyway. Yeah. I like to try to get it as circular as possible. My, my grandma's also really good at fixing my errors. So. Yeah. <laughs> what? Okay, so I'm going to make it like this. It's probably make this, probably. And, and then I will spread the filling on here. Mm. This is what makes it good. It looks this delicious. is what makes it puff up, too. That looks delicious. I love walnuts. Oh, that's thick. Okay, here we go. We okay. usually put too much filling in and then it runs all over everywhere, but that's what makes it really good. Yes. See, there you go. And you just put them like this. Yeah. So simple. Gently, gently. So elegant. Don't squeeze it. Don't squeeze <laughs> Don't it. Squeeze. 
Yeah, that is like paper thin. You're doing it yep. sort of paper they thin. They have to be. Mm -hmm. And the flour and then the powdered sugar makes it kind of sweet on the Correct. outside. Yep. Mm -hmm. Of course, then you know, like they reach powdered sugar, everything. Well, the dough itself is not sweet at all. No, that's right. So by adding the powdered sugar to the outside, we'll get a little sweetness on the but outside. But it's nice dough because I'm a pie baker and I love dough. Yeah. So, very interesting the way you did that. Yeah, you have to be gentle. Gentle, yes. And it is a two-person job to be efficient. Yes, it is. If, yeah, because you left the other all day. <laughs> yeah, and you probably want that uh, dough to be cold, cool. To, yeah. To work well. Yep, it gets a little sticky. But my grandmothers, they did it themselves. I mean, you know. But... So how long do you bake these? Well, about 15 minutes, but you got to watch them. Yeah. yeah. Mr. Ed here, he's a kind of the... Oh, yes. If, if, he burn, another if, baker who if he burns them, he's fired. <laughs> <laughs> Does he ever burn them? Actually, no. no but he knows better. <laughs> because, <laughs> because if he burns the ones he burns, then that's fewer that he can have. No, he eats them all. It doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> we make him eat the burned ones. He doesn't complain, though, so it's okay. I think they'd be good even if they were a little crisp, probably. Oh, yeah. Shoot, I got a little bit too much there, but that'll bake in. It's <laughs> kind of crooked, baby. Here. Wow, I can't wait. So now you probably, that recipe probably makes, what, three or four dozen? Well, four oh, more dozen. More than least. that, more than that. That looks like four. Uh, at least how four. many do we usually have? Usually like six, 60, 60. Yeah. 60 or yeah. five dozen. Yeah. Wow, great. Yeah, it makes a lot. I mean. And then Grandpa eats about half of them on um, <laughs> the same day. So we end up with about 25. What village are you from? What's your family? Uh, uh, Vesely, Nagmarovo, and Znorovi. And I'm your parent, your grandfather. My grandfather was Vesely. Yes, it's Vesely. In, it's in the southern part of uh, the. I'm putting a little bit too much filling, I think, in there. Mountains. Um, anyhow, it's Mar the Mar Moravia more than yeah. the Czech, the, you know. Yes, yes. And there is a difference. There's a difference in a lot of pronunciation of a lot of the words and um they, they but they're the bakers in the moravia oh boy we went to this bakery oh my gosh to die for every two hours they bake something fresh oh i tell you you go in there you think That's you died and went to heaven <laughs> that is a perfect circle you did it right megan i'm getting, I'm getting broken in for this yeah you have to put it i gotta have to see i'm thinking man, i'm putting too much i'm well, talking i can't talk and uh, do it well, at the same time you're doing a great job <laughs> were were your fa were these was your family farmers or townspeople? Yeah, no, they were farmers. Well, and no, my grandpa I think worked on the railroad or something. So, but see, my mom was five and my dad was nine when they came. So they've been here a long time. Is it uh, so? It was good farmland and was, were there mountains? It, it was hilly, but hilly. it's beautiful, isn't it, Ed? Kind of like a rolling hills, but beautiful. And so what, what amazed us, they'd go to St. Anthony's, there's a, it was a pilgrimage. And they would go from all these little villages to that St. Anthony's, it's up on a hill, we went there. And we, I can't believe that they walked all that ways to that church, across oh. those hills and stuff. Wow, that's too bad. Not I like your parish over there in Why that particular saint, I wonder. Saint An I was going to ask, is St. Anthony a patron saint? Yes. Very of, much so. Uh, in the Czech Republic? Yeah. Um, I know my grandpa came from Vesely. Yep. Maybe he came from her, my... Yep. Actually, my grandpa Rasisa and my, my... They came and... But the little... there The towns are right next to each other, so, you know... But most of the people around here, I think, came from that part. So they started another Vesely. They should have <laughs> called it Vesely. Yeah. Vesely not Morovo. Vesely means happy. Yeah. Vesely. Yeah. Ah. Why would you leave a happy village? Oh, I'm telling That's you one thing. Question. Because they were hungry and, you know, yeah. there wasn't any nothing, work. And, nothing for them there. You know, yeah. you know, my grandma, she always could never see people wasting food because she said they were so hungry over there that, you know, I better get going here. <laughs> no, you're telling good stories. This is, this is yeah, important I'm stuff. Story time. We're going to go. 
Um, I know that um, Grandpa went back early 60s, and um, it was still really poor. My, my grandma never wanted to go back. A lot of the people that were born over there never wanted to go back. That tells you something, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Baker. Baker, Baker. Okay. All right. Vicki, grab me one of them. Yep. Parchments. Yeah. I bake on parchment. I don't know. So do I. My cutter kind of didn't get them quite right here, but. But she has everything done before, you know, I get here, so it kind of helps quite a bit. We used to have a traditional. When I was home, we were kids, for Christmas Eve, we would never eat meat on a Christmas because Eve. Because you were getting ready to go to Midnight Mass? Well, or Mass, whatever. Uh-huh. And uh, anyhow, um, we'd have fish, but Ma would take salmon and open up out of the can and put onions and vinegar, which Ed just loves, I still do that. And we'd have like prune, cooked up prunes, and and um, Ma made this yeast things, and. You bake them and you pour milk on them as soon as they come out with their poppy seed in them. They're oh. called poopaki. Poopaki? Yeah, poopaki. <laughs> <laughs> more appetizing than they sound. Yeah, well, you got more to eat when people didn't understand what you were talking about. So, did it, was it like a, uh, was it a roll? No, more like a, um, oh, it was like a bun. Like a bun. But it had prunes in it. And, and it has okay, poppy I've seed. had that. Yes. Yeah, prunes in it. Yeah. And um, and then you poured milk over it? Yeah, milk over when they were hot, yeah. Huh. And mm -hmm. you had fish, or you yeah. said salmon. Yeah, usually salmon. And But that's a European. Isn't fish a European Oh, yeah, Christmas that's very Christmas European. Eve. That's what I say, the carp, that's what they... Yeah. Not during Christmas Day. Always but I think in Cleveland, though, the Czech people over there, I think they did that uh, carp, you know. Because I've had a recipe somewhere, but I guess it don't sound good to me, so I don't like fish. You like beef, she likes Just beef. give me a good old Angus calf or cow. That's what I said, yes. That's why Steer! She, that's why she keeps me around, too, because we have beef cattle. Yeah, and good beef cattle, too. <clears throat> oh, we always had beef when we were kids. Uh, if you didn't have beef for dinner, you really didn't have dinner. Yes. You were, you were, they felt sorry for you. Now in the Czech Republic, pork is really pork. pork yes, and duck. yeah. But the beef was it was expensive at the time. It probably is now again. But yeah. how about chicken? Do they have chicken? Not a whole lot. Yeah. Not pork. They didn't eat chickens. They just you had get eggs. them big knuckle. You know, you get a big knuckle. My daughter went to Italy. So to I, I gotta tell you a funny really? one. So it's we went to this re eat. restaurant and the onion soup. Oh, good onion soup. So. Alice and I and Ed are all, oh boy, that'll be good. So we get this bowl of water with a few chopped onions floating. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did you make mushroom soup? Um, Mom did. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know. I, you know, I can't even hardly remember all the stuff anymore. But that was not that good. What about beets? Beets. Beets. Lots, Lots of beets. Lots of beets. Beets? Beets? No. Red beets? Red beets? Well, you, well, no, we eat them, but not for Christmas. Oh, no. not for Christmas. No, I got, we got beets in a refrigerator. Anyhow, no, <laughs> that was so funny. Oh my gosh. Well, we, I, I was in, I, I visited Poland, and mushroom soup in Poland is, I mean, everywhere. But they're and wild mushrooms. They have what? They're wild mushrooms, I wild, think. Uh, they were, it was delicious. Anyhow, when we were going to this one village up there, it, it was quite the village. Was really far away, but anyway, along the way, the uh, people were selling baskets and baskets of mushrooms they picked in the woods. Oh, wow! Yeah, my dad was good at mushroom hunting. Well, his grandpa he used to get bushels of them around Wasian and around Stryker and that area. Morel. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, 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 your grandpa? Ed? Some kind of brown mushrooms, and they. I would love to know how to go for mushrooms. I don't know. Well, they're hard to find out with the insecticides and everything. Yet, I don't. They're probably. Oh, I never thought of that. Ooh, it's too bad. So, no, like I said, we learned a lot. But you know, my, like my grandparents, heck, they they couldn't speak English. So. <laughs> Neither did my grandma. Yeah, your grandma. She did not speak English. Most of English. Those, you know why? Because 
my, like my mom and dad did everything for them, took care of all their business, which in a way was wrong because they, they should have. Now, do you want one more? No, I think we'll okay. do better. Okay, what do they look like? i got to see if they have run stuff all right. Now. i got to wash my hands. No, are they puffing? Oh, yeah. Now, see, look, guys. Oh, yeah. See? Oh, they're so beautiful. It's magic. Yeah. Don't scare them. <laughs> okay. No, this is great. And I, I uh, have your recipe, so if anyone's but watching you know, this and they yeah, want to do for this. The one recipe, the one ingredient we left out. Yeah. But I, I've got to tell you, you know, now, like the check pastry, a lot of people think, oh, they can take that cookbook, pick it up, and make it. No. no. Either you've got to be bought up with it and watch it and do it. Right. Otherwise, you just throw it up and, you know. <laughs> I can attest to that because I have a check cookbook, cookbook, and it's, it's, put together by women who know exactly what they're doing, so they give you just the basic ingredients and then they tell you to go to go do it. You don't know anything about what you're doing. Unless you want a taste of it. I'll pull you off. I'm, I'm a pretty good boat. I can taste anything. Megan. Oh! Look at that. That's gorgeous. Flip it over on the bottom. Let's see here. Okay, here she goes. You might need a little more. That's what I'm thinking here. Dough ball for you. you. I know, Megan. Look. Oh yeah, they're brown. Oh yeah, they're good. Okay, there you go. Wow, that is buttery. Woo. Yeah, now we gotta put powdered sugar on it. Woo! That is a shot of butter. Woo. Yeah. I warned you. That. Uh, woo. You have a cardiologist? <laughs> I don't. I might have to now. <laughs> I usually end up picking little pieces up of and then it's a yeast dough. Is it yeast? Or is it not? I don't know. Either way, it blows up in my stomach. <laughs> you mean yeast in what? Is there, in, there's no yeast in here. No, no, no. No, it's Your it's, it's is more of a pie. It's more of a pie. The the, uh, I, I think I could do this. I, I'm I'm. You uh, do it? We gotta try one before we're done. Uh, no, I mean I'm gonna try to make those little ping pongy, cool. What, whatever you said, Roliki. Ro, Roliki. Hey, you want to see you got to be a, uh, to roll an R or else you, uh, you know, I need a glass of wine and then I could say it. <laughs> well, just, yeah, just a couple of, don't put it on all of them yet. Just one I for just me. I just want a taste tester. <laughs> one for, one for John and me. One for the road. Oh, okay. that's just. I gotta great. tell you guys another story, but it will be after we're done teasing because this cannot be on the tape. X rated. Well, not really. C rated. <laughs> it's a check <Czech> story. <laughs> oh, I am. I am so glad that I can watch you guys do this. It's great. Okay, so when when she does it, Megan, we are going over to her house. And oh yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, well, I already did my pies. That's my only skill. <laughs> <laughs> when, when she gets, they'll go over there. And, but I'd be happy to have well, you come over and we'll let her go and do make them. a pie. But if you, tough and you, whatever, and you can use them for a hammer. Why we won't say a word. I know, I know. <laughs> it's an American pie, not a Czech pie. Well, actually, it's a pastry. But oh, no, I mean my pie is an American pie. Oh. But I have won Best of Show at the Fulton County Fair, just oh, to say. Prestige. I know. Prestige. Well, I was wondering what kind was it? Uh, well, the last time I won it, it was a tomato pie. What? Yes. What? It was great. It was, I must say, it was good. Uh-oh. Okay. Thank you so much, Ed and Mary and Megan. I can't wait. Oh, my gosh. It's delicious. It's light as a feather. Here light as a feather. I did. Yeah, so that meringue disappears. Yeah. Yeah, and it's that's what pops up there. And then all you have is the walnut and it's so delicious. Show them the inside. Shall I, would you like to see this beautiful inside? This is great. Well, thanks Megan and thanks Mary and Ed and well, thanks for having us. We are going to enjoy several Roll it, roll it. Roll, roll, roll it. Roll that R. Roll it. Roll it. 
in, uh, in the eastern part of Fulton County, straight from the Czech Republic, and uh, the best part of Fulton County. Eastern part is the best part of Fulton County. Fulton County. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Bye.